I'll never forget when I heard the first uh, criticism about the prayer of Jabez that I hadn't included the Lord's Prayer in the book. I had preached that message for 25 years in mega churches, in Bible studies, in colleges, in seminaries, and not once in all those years did anybody ever suggest that. And this was a pastor who was very upset for some reason about asking God to do those things for you. And he said, how could you dare write a book on prayer and not give the Lord's Prayer? I said, really? So every time you talk about prayer, you give the whole Bible's revelation about everything about prayer, including the Lord's Prayer and the prayers in Ephesians and the prayers in Colossians and the prayers that the different people of the Old Testament gave. You gave all those? And he looked at me and said, well, no, but you should have put the Lord's Prayer in. I said, why? It wasn't a book on the Lord's Prayer. In other words, we pick out a topic we want to talk about. And when you pick it out, you automatically anti-select or unselect everything else. That's what this book does. There, there is over 25 different keys that I have isolated and selected in my life. There's only seven in the book. Why? Because the book is not 2,500 pages long. It's not a seven volume set. It's a preparation for you to actually enter an amazing life of miracles. And what we have done in the book, along with um, a collaborator I work with on many of my books, David Kopp and his wife, who, Heather, who served as uh, my editor, we worked hard on this in selecting the precise keys that we felt in this book should be included. There's lots of other keys that I taught about in our test cases that we didn't include in here. Many of them, they're not here. These are the ones we've selected, and they're the right ones. But I want you to understand there's two different kinds of keys. The first four keys are about how do you unlock a life of miracles on an ongoing way? You have to understand the master key and ask to be sent on missions, or you're not going to be sent on them. You have to understand the people key, the spirit key, and the risk key. Those are things that are true all the time. But then we turn in the second half of the book and we talk about the signals that heaven gives and people gives. Then we talk about the steps you actually follow one after the other to deliver a miracle. But then we take the signals and the steps and we put them together and say, now you're finally ready. Let's teach you three more unique keys, three special delivery keys. These are very different than the first four. Special delivery, maybe you've sent a special delivery or received one that took special handling to a special person in a special way. These special delivery keys uh, are, are specific. They're saying this, when a, when a person over there has a financial need, use the money key. When a person over there can't find their purpose and aren't living their dream, don't use the money key, use the dream key. And when a person's filled with torment and um, stress and anxiety, there's a pretty good chance that down deep inside of there, there's been some pretty painful and uh, heart-wrenching wounds that happened in their heart that they probably didn't forgive. Use the forgiveness key. Those keys are very specific then, aren't they? These keys work. That is, when I use the forgiveness key on a person that is needing it, I don't even wonder if a miracle is going to happen. There's no question in my mind. I can predict for you that a miracle is going to happen with that person. Now, can that person turn their heart and say, I don't want to think about this and get up and walk away? Yes. How often does that happen? To me, twice. In my whole life. Two times, two different people. Why? P 
people want a miracle. They want something that is going to repair a part of their life in a way that God's fingerprints are all over it. Why? It's wonderful. So, as we get ready to move into the three special delivery keys, I want you to understand they're personal, they're for another person, and they will result in a predictable miracle for the person. Why? Because we have studied every single passage in all of the Bible on these topics and have lived it for many, many years. And no, this is how God works. Follow the signals, use the steps, follow the process of the special delivery key for that person who needs it, and at the end, <laughs> you'll have delivered another miracle. Oh, what a life! That's why we put a book called You Were Born for This. Enjoy it. The Three Keys for Special Delivery. <laughs>